There is that old saying that says you can only go halfway into a forest because before you start coming out the other side. So we asked the question, where are we in the COVID forest today? And to answer that, Dr. Jeff Potoff, UW Health Chief's Quality Officer, thank you as always for being with us. Two breaking stories this afternoon, Doc. One says the Omicron strain has peaked in Great Britain and is on the way down. Another says New York City is seeing a similar trend. One can assume that's a reason for optimism, yes? I would agree. I think, you know, we saw it go up and down in South Africa pretty quick, and it looks like we're seeing that trend hold true in other societies. Uh, and, uh, you know, if there is some good news, that would be it. You know, the next couple of weeks might be difficult, but uh, at least we're talking in weeks, not months. Let's bring it down to our level then. Numbers in Wisconsin, though, staying pretty high. Almost 9,700 new cases today. Have we peaked yet, or do you need more data for that? I think we'll need more data. I think the other thing that's starting to confound the data is that the ability of testing isn't great right now. So there's a lot of people who are doing home tests, so those are positive, and then they're isolating, which means that the number that we're reporting is probably a bit of an underrepresentation of those total, total cases. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm optimistic that the peak isn't too far away. We're just seeing so many cases. Uh, I can't imagine this level going on for much longer. I want to get to those home tests in a second, but let me stay on this thing. 58% of Wisconsinites are now fully vaccinated. But here's an interesting number. More than 62% have at least one shot. That's a sign that perhaps people are becoming slightly more willing to take the vaccine? You know, yeah, and we've seen this during other surges. And, you know, when I talk to patients, uh, you know, there's a lot of individuals who are opposed to getting the vaccine uh, on philosophical or political grounds. But when they experience someone that they care about with COVID or they know someone who got sick, they look at they look in the mirror and they say, you know what, I, I'm not willing to, to die on this hill. And they go out and they get vaccinated. Uh, and I think we're seeing some of that with the latest Omicron surge. Let's go back to those home tests, because at testing centers, there's a long line. People, if they can get a home test, taking it home. If you test positive, what should the next step be? Do you assume you have COVID at that point and you start with the protocols or do you need to go in to get a second test? No, so if you have symptoms, you've had symptoms for a day and you have a rapid test at home and you take that rapid test and it's positive, that's where that rapid test actually performs really well. Um, you have COVID-19 at that point, start your isolation, uh, you know, avoid coming in contact with other people. Uh, on the flip side, uh, if you just started your symptoms, like you woke up with a sore throat, you're wondering and you have a rapid test and that's negative, sometimes those rapid tests early on, like the day you develop symptoms can be negative when a PCR would be positive. So if you're in that camp, your symptoms just started, a PCR might be the better test if that rapid's negative. Which means you'll have to go to the one of the testing center or if your uh, physician offers it, do it there. All right. right. As always, Dr. Jeff Potoff from UW Health, thank you so much. Thank you.